saw her And she would laugh But she was crying on the inside And all this pain she felt inside She just couldn't hide But at parties she would seem to act just fine And drink her problems away Until they subside And they did But with time They would come back to haunt her The drugs and the alcohol Turned her to a monster But she didn't care She was looking for a quick fix Looking in the mirror Going out New lipstick Wanting to be the girl That's in every guy's dreams Looked into the mirror Sat down and screamed She screamed Hey, what's up guys? My name's the number one pro and today what I'll be bringing you guys is a triple chem strike on the map strike zone playing in a two-man party using the support strike package and this is a different sort of gameplay you'd see from me one because I'm playing with less people on my team which is something you guys don't normally see I'm always playing with friends or subscribers or something like that it's just because obviously I don't enjoy the game solo and I'm literally on the point of refusing to play the game solo I'd say out of the 3,000 or 4,000 games I've played on COG Ghost I'd probably say about a hundred of them have been played solo by me and in comparison that's pretty much nothing compared to the amount of games I've played in total so uh, yeah I think you guys get the gist of the fact that I don't like playing solo on COG Ghost if in fact any game I mean I'd always like to be talking to someone or playing with someone I just find it more social and more enjoyable if you ask me so yeah that's basically it about all of my solo shenanigans and business like that so you won't be seeing a solo triple chem strike from me at all so this is if you want to you can call this my solo triple chem strike even though it's not but uh, if that makes you guys happy then it makes me happy and one thing that I find you know cool about this gameplay and uh, what I was happy about was that I actually went into the game with a mindset of I want to get a triple chem strike and obviously I did but what I'm happy about is that I actually played in a way that the enemies really really did struggle to kill me and uh, the fact that they they couldn't kill me un unless I wanted them to which was when I wanted to start a new streak so basically I was playing defensive not campy defensive because you obviously um, I'm, I'm pretty much in every area of the map this game um, I'm just not pushing in too far I don't run into the crowds which is what I normally do but I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna I'm gonna raise my IQ level for this game, stop being the stupid pred and be the smart pred. And it worked out really well for me. Maybe the chem strike speeds did, did suffer, but the security of the chem strikes were hundred percent obviously since I got all of them. And yeah, that's one thing I'm really happy about this gameplay. So if you guys could please drop a like rating on this video, it really really means a lot when I get a really sick gameplay, a high standard gameplay like this and it gets an immaculate amount of support uh, if you guys could let's try and shoot for hmm, let's think of a number that's relatively high 65 likes, can we shoot for 65 likes, a bit of a random number um, if we can that would be insane, if we can't then that is obviously okay I mean I'm not expecting that to be to be reached but uh, if we can I'll be over the moon, in fact over the sun in fact, over the furthest star away from me. That basically concludes the gameplay. And I've had a question from a couple of people as of recent asking me how I got my name for YouTube, the number one pred. And I thought this might be of somewhat interest to you guys, considering maybe you guys might be wondering but just haven't asked me. And I haven't actually gone over this at all as to why my you know YouTube name or my gamer tags or whatever evolves around pred, or in fact just the number one pred. And I'm just going to give you guys a little story as to why that is. About almost four years ago now, I came up with a clan with a bunch of school friends called I Own. And it sounds really, you know, stupid looking back at it. Back in the day was when I was, you know, not great at COD. I was average. Um, me and my friends were about the same skill level. Obviously, I completely destroy my friends at school. Um, when we were to play like a 1v1 or whatever it's not even funny but back in the day when I was just an average player me and my friends came up with a clan called Ion we had names like Ionix Ghost, Ionix Preds, Ionix Quads, Ionix Mercs uh, there was loads, there was loads, there was a bunch of names and basically we 
we probably came up to about 10 or so people and the reason why I came up with Iron X Preds isn't actually a, you know, a crazy reason it's just because we were studying the day at school when I came up we were studying like predators and prey and it's kind of funny because um, I thought oh pred predator sounds a like a cool name Iron X Predators and I typed it in and it was way way too long so I had to you know shorten it down so obviously the shortened version of Predator is Pred so um, basically the reason why Predator would be so long is because in the clan we basically had to have two Z's on the end it was just the basic rule of structure of names I don't know why I don't know why honestly but that's the way it was and I came up with Iron X Preds and that was what my name was for about a year or so and I got a bit sick of that name because obviously it had like X's and Z's in it which is a bit childish so I came up with Pred YT and the same thing occurred a bunch of school friends and that changed their names uh, to that with the YT on the end and that's when I was basically starting YouTube not taking it seriously at all just because I was on YouTube I just felt like calling myself Pred YT and obviously I kept the same Pred name because I, I thought it sounded really cool so I kept the name and um, at the time I had my YouTube name as Pred YT and I thought that name was getting a bit boring and mainstream so I changed it to the number one Pred and the number one was actually a clan that I thought of making but in the end I didn't even make because I just thought it was a kind of cool name to go solo the number one Pred it just sounded it just clicked for me I felt it sounded really cool so I just kept that name so here I am, the number one Pred. Not a bad name, I thought it was kind of original, which is why I stuck to it. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that little story. Hopefully you guys now understand why I have that name. There's no crazy reason as to, it was just, you know, the matter of time that I was doing a science class on Predator and Prey. So <laughs> that's basically it for this story. Hopefully you did enjoy the gameplay. Once again, can we try and shoot for 65 likes? And towards the end, I'm going to put some music on. But you will see I get extremely lucky when I'm on like a 20. You'll see the time when I get so lucky. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. Have an awesome day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. A couple months later, he had second thoughts He didn't know if he should date her But he didn't want to be lonely So he didn't listen to advice from his homies And everything was great Or so this boy thought He was looking for love And this girl was just not She never cared for him She was looking for a quick fix Looking in the mirror, going out New lipstick, this boy would give her everything Anything he fucking could This girl was never happy with herself Love, she never would And one day this boy went over to her house She was with another dude Giving head on the couch Screaming